Hello everyone, welcome to the Educate WP YouTube channel. In today's video, I will show you how to add the WordPress contact form builder with HappaForms. A website's contact form allows users to communicate with the site's owner. The page includes fields for entering your name, address, and the type of comment you want to leave. Most company websites include email and mailing addresses. However, the contact form provides a quick and easy way for users to ask the company questions. At the end of the video, you will be able to create a contact form for your store, which will look something like this. The form builder will help you to create contact forms easily and efficiently. To add this free version of Happy Forms, simply do the following. First, go to your WordPress site and log in. On your dashboard, select the plugins option. Then select Add New. Once you've arrived on this page, use the search bar to look for the Happy Form Contact Builder. It's a powerful plugin that provides a range of features to customize forms to meet your needs. You can upgrade to the premium version to get all of the extra features but today we'll focus on the free aspects of the plugin. Let's go ahead and install it now. Before we move ahead, today's video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile app. The mobile app builder helps you create a native Android and iOS mobile application. Get the opportunity to grab 30% off by being the first 200 signups. Get the link in the description. When the plugin installation is complete, click on the Activate button. The page will be refreshed and you will be directed to the Happy Forms page. By default, Happy Forms include a sample form. If desired, you can edit the pre-built sample form to get started. In this video, I'll be creating a completely new form from scratch to demonstrate how to do it on your own. Let's make a brand new form by clicking on the Add New button. First, enter the title here. Click the Add Field button to begin adding our fields here. As you can see, a list has appeared. To add a short text here, select the text field from the list. The short text is used in the form to add a single line text. For example, I will now create a field for first name to acquire a user's information. As it's a visual form builder, you can see your form being built in real time on the right side of the page. You can also choose whether to hide or show your label. The placeholder option is just below this. A placeholder is a hint or a description of the information needed for a specific field. We have prefill option below that. Prefilling is done when you are publishing or sending out your forms. Here you may want some information to automatically populate into the forms fields. This can be done by using a prefilled link or prefilling through the URL. Moving on, the hint option provides helpful hints and directions about what is required. You can use this checkbox to indicate whether your label needs to be optional or mandatory. When necessary, change the prefix and suffix. Labels help to keep the form neat and organized. In the width section, you can experiment with options from the drop-down menu to adjust the size of your field label. We'll do the same for the last name section. Happy Forms have the option to delete or duplicate each field on the bottom left side. Let's click on Duplicate, and you'll see a duplicated field appear. And as with the first name, you can make changes to this field as well. Here's a great feature where you can see how the form will display on your desktop and mobile devices. Now, let's add one more field. Select Long Text from the Field option. This can be useful for storing large amounts of information, such as comments or descriptions. I will add a title here. You can also set word limits by checking this box. 
As you can see, if you check the text editor checkbox, you will be able to edit your text here. Before we add another field to the page, let's take a look at some other options. Proceed to set up settings. For the free version, there is only one option available here. You can select an option from the drop-down menu to notify the customer that their form has been submitted by showing the message, prompting them to resubmit the form, or simply adding a web address. Now, we will get started with email settings. We have email options, which show where this form will be sent to. Here, you can choose whether you want to mail each copy of the submission or not. You could fill the blank slots with the necessary email information here. After that, let's proceed to the next setting, Messages. Now in here, you have complete control over your alerts and error messages. You can edit and experiment with these settings. Let's go over the style settings and customize this a little more. Padding, direction, and color options are available in the general settings. You can change the padding size to narrow, wide, or just leave it as default. The padding area actually shows the space between content and its border. We can then set the direction of the field, either to the left or right from here. To make your text messages more appealing, you can experiment and play around with the color section. We can customize and stylize all the fields in the same way by using the different style options. Now we will return to the build settings and go over some more field options. Here's the email option, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Let's say you need a customer's email address, this field will come in handy in that case. This radio option is a very useful and engaging feature that allows you to add a question or title with multiple answers to it. Let's include a few choices here. To change how the options are displayed, select the option from here to adjust the position of the field to display either vertically or horizontally. Similarly, you can also include numbers, checkboxes, and a drop-down box field for your form. After you've finished customizing, click the Save button to save your progress. As you can see, we have successfully created a form for our WordPress. To add this form to your store, first, copy the shortcode from here. Now, go to the page setting from the dashboard and select a page or create one from here. I will select a page. Here, click on the plus icon and add a shortcode. Paste the code here, which we copied earlier. To save the form, click on the Update button. As you can see, our form has been added to the page in our store. You can add forms to any existing page or just create one page specifically for it. And once the form is submitted by the customer, all the information in the form will be sent to the user's email. So that's it for today's video. I hope this video was helpful. Let us know if you have any queries related to WordPress or WooCommerce in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.